always say you, you should always put your tools back. So that's very important. I mean, shout out to Midwest Tool Review. He always, his uh, socket drawer he just organized is insane. So make sure you check out his channel, Midwest Tool Review. It's a good channel. Put the link down below. Yeah, we'll put it down below. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are super excited for this video. But I mean, it's going to be a little bit different because me and dad's been under the weather. We had the flu. Well, we still have the flu, but we're just getting over it. And we've been quarantined and Thanksgiving's in two days. So we haven't had time to be here because, for one, we've been sick. But we got an exciting video for someone. I mean, yeah, we, we, believe, we believe it is. I, but, I think but, it's exciting. Hey, one thing exciting about it is we got something new. We got a new toy. I'm a new toy. It. I mean, toy. I mean... It is a toy, too. And <laughs> we got it on a Black Friday sale through Home Depot. Yeah, so. so guys, tell us what you think. Da, da, da. Bam, dude. The Milwaukee Rod Angle Impact 3.8 with push the new the, battery. The high output 2.5 battery, which is supposed to be 25. Push the trigger. See what it looks like. I hadn't... Was, is it today's first? Hunter showed it to me, but I was so sick. Yeah, I really so didn't sick. even. You, yeah, you didn't care. Didn't even look. But, Guys, uh, so if I cough, I'm sorry. Yeah, and this is, has the new high, put, <clears throat> high output battery, which is supposed to be better than the other ones, even better than the bigger ones that are older because it's well, to be 25% Well, hey, 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 enough talk. Let's put it to action. Let's see if it could, like, uh, break a lug nut loose or something. I'm a little worried about my arms. <laughs> yeah, Hunter, we felt the, the size already because, and then we I said, Hunter, I said, I do not want you to try it until it's on camera. And he's like, man, what if it twists my arm? I said, well, <laughs> it'll be funny. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and that was put on with the big impact. Yeah, that was put on I with I think the... this has 220 foot pound torque and uh, I think up to 240 braking. So, I mean, that's good. All right. Uh, so, guys, what, what we've been. Uh, let's see if it goes on. Hey, did it go on good? Yeah. This thing is <laughs> awesome. I cannot wait to break a motor apart with that thing. We got right a, little, there it is. a little too late. Those no, we we still got we got for the head. Oh my! I don't think hey, it would have done it. Let's show this a little better now. This Matco bar. Oh my goodness! Don't judge. I I believe it was like that. It was not like that. I know. Cause there was an indent in this. Uh, there still is. Yeah, where it was ended though. Look at this. Look how hard that is off now. And that was touching. You bent it that much. <laughs> oh, come on. And then I was supposed to bent a socket, too. You did. So we got to get this warrantied out. So we will. It's no big deal. But what are we going to be working on today? Well, tell them about a situation. What We only have a little bit of time here because, for one, I don't know how, how long we'll last. <laughs> yeah, because we're not feeling that great. But when, you know, my second channel, Price Customs Tool Restoration, I had a shop, well, not a shop, but a little set built up at our house. And some... We had happened, a flood. A flood happened with the plumbing. We'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing good happened. That's what we're going to say. <coughs> and it destroyed my whole set. So I haven't been able to post any videos. And we've been meaning to bring it up here. Just haven't had the time. Because we've been because working, we've on, been working on, the Camaro on the Camaro and, and everything there. else. And we've been super busy. So we haven't had time to set it up. So I brought some of the stuff you can show. I have some of the stuff here, and we might set Look up at the these tools. Areas. These come, these down here come from After Five. Yeah, these in this box right here, and they've been in a fire. So Hunter's going to try to bring them back to life on this channel. I have so many tools I got to bring back to life. Like I have two snap-on tools that I need to bring back to life. I'll show you in a minute. But so. So what we need to do let's get is start getting tools. some of this stuff set up. Yeah, too. and then. We'll catch back up with All right. Well, here's some of the stuff I, I've restored and going to restore. Well, I've only restored one thing here. <laughs> and it's this socket. There's still pitting and stuff in it. It's an old Husky USA. But if you see but this. It was like solid rust. And it's to this now, which I think is a million times better. Right. And the bottom could be better. But, I mean, this was the very first one I was just testing out. Yeah, but, testing out his uh, polishes and all that yeah. kind of stuff. And, and the process. And this is a set I got from, uh, where was that? A flea market in Sweetwater. Uh, Sweetwater, yeah. And, uh, no, not Sweetwater. Uh, Sevier County. Sevier County, Tennessee. I got it for $10. 
and it's a Walden, a Steve Walden uh, brand, which I'd love to restore it, but I just like the patina look of it. So yeah, it's it. pretty cool. And it came with almost all the, it came with a lot of the sockets of that brand, but uh, unfortunately the ratchet, it was not, it was just some Taiwanese brand, I don't know. Taiwanese. Yeah, Ty Taiwan brand. What? It, those are cool looking. And then this is the actual screwdriver for it, which is really cool. That's pretty and cool. And it's in like perfect shape. What like. year do you think that? I honestly, I really do not know. Because. Hunter, he he loves collecting these vintage tools. I don't know. I mean, the patent number's on there. <clears throat> That's cool. And then you had this these old set of tools. They yeah, thrown in grease and stuff. I don't know why, but <laughs> <laughs> when you work on lawnmowers, you just threw everything together. And I f went through these and found these corn wells, these torque corn wells, which is good. So I'm gonna have to throw those in evaporus. They were really bad. I cleaned up the outside. It's just the torque, <laughs> just the bit part that needs. Who would up. let their stuff get that bad? Okay, no, I did not clean this one. You see the lines right there? How dirty that is? Yeah. Now look at that one. Look at the difference. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. And See, then, Hunter's getting pretty good at this stuff. Here's uh, one thing that's going to be coming soon. It's an old snap-on pliers. How how old do you think? Based on where the logo looks, it is from the 60s. Because the, they have different style of logos. Here, let's show See them. See if you can zoom in right there. Uh, if it'll show it, it's very hard. There, there it is. That's like the 60s logo. And they normally have an imprint of... They usually have some kind of oh, like do. symbol, don't they? They have the symbol. I can look that up and see exactly what year, but I'm guessing <laughs> We're going to Google that here in a second. I'll look it up. But he I'll guessed really... 60s. I guess 50s. 50s, okay. And then we have... Uh, late 50s, that is. I restored one T-handle, which I'll show you right here. Now, I wish they could have... They did see that. The video, yeah, check video it out. I love this one. It was bad. It was completely stuck and very, very bad. Now it works perfectly. Except for if you slide off, it'll slide off one end <laughs> because it was messed up that way. It, it, it is where it is. That's why they let it rest still. Yeah. But uh, here's a half inch version. And I think this one's even older. I don't even, I'd ha I can't even read to see what. But it is, it is. snap on. It is snap on. So it says it right there, but that's probably the 50s. Where did I find that at? It was at a flea market. Yeah, and dude didn't Just have a the clue. Right, down the road. He here. goes, after I bought it, he He's goes, like, what is it? What is it? And I said, well, I'll no, pay you before for, you bought it. Before I bought it, he said, "What is it?" And he was like, uh, "I'll pay you first. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, pay and then me? he said, "It don't matter." And then we told him, and he's like, "Crap." <laughs> <laughs> he he no said, point. "I didn't see that one." <laughs> he, that was the only one he missed. That was Snap On. He's like, yeah. "Because they price Snap On stuff like that as if it was brand, brand new. Brand new, and like we paid a dollar for that. Yeah, I mean, it's it needs restored, and it will be. It'll be and back to new. I found this Mac Allen set. Where did we find that at? Pawn shop. See, we shop everywhere for tools. These, I mean, they're they're in working condition. They're just a little rusty. So I'm going to have to clean these up. So that's some stuff that's coming right there. And it, then there's some more stuff. Yeah, like, look at this thing. Yeah, I'm That's a, from after five. I don't know what this is for, but something big. Yeah, and then look, here's what I'm excited about. A scraper. We need a scraper, man. Get and the gaskets. That's a good one. We got one. this in Florida. It's a snap on. That's a snap on. But honestly, guys, this that, is not that thing shot. I just have it just to have it. So I mean, it's. I mean, you can it. use this end. Yeah, and then it's messed up on this end. On this end is unusable. And it's so pitted, you could barely read it. Snap on, but I just thought it was cool. And it was in a package deal thing. It wasn't like I paid a lot of money for that. No, I mean, we I mean, paid. I mean, it was tons of stuff, like 40 bucks. So, I mean, yeah, it was no big deal. All right, now talk about what we got there at the beach too. Oh, this? No, we didn't really get that. We, we just got, got that one piece. Yeah, we got We looked for this everywhere, dude. And we couldn't find it. No, we we, we found, found these like, like a million. Yeah, 916, so I guess that's for distributors. Distributor, which now they make a specialty wrench for I know, and I want it. It's so cool. But, I mean, and oh, yeah, I got to restore this SK. Yeah, now this would be a cool video if he can restore this SK box. Yeah, I got to draw out the rivets and everything. So that's going to be a fun one. Yeah, that would be a cool one to watch. Guys, I mean, this second channel, we're going to try to grow it, too, because 
he he's passionate about it. Oh, yeah. Anything you're passionate about. He, there's something in that box though. I can't show inside that tool, blue toolbox because oh, yeah. it's there's already or, there's already in in the make, but the video. But the um, I want to talk about this real quick. Hold on, let let's tell them what brand that box is. Oh, okay. Now you know, guys, you remember us buying that box, yeah, we don't paid you? Twenty bucks for this box. Twenty dollars. It said Chevy on it, so I thought it was cool. We put this on it, made it way cool. Yeah. But, but the what thing is, is it? If they knew what it was, they wouldn't have priced it. It's a Kennedy box, and someone just painted over it. I don't know why you'd ever paint over it, because I found the sticker. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's on the inside somewhere. And it's a, it's a Kennedy Almost sticker. Almost gave it away. And uh, it, I was uncovering it, and it, I saw Kennedy. I'm like, why would they do that? But they would have sold that for like $60, $70. Oh, yeah, because they got one in there right now that yeah, is in yeah. rough shape. And I want $100 and something dollars for it. Yeah. Because it's Kennedy. I mean, now it's a good brand, but. Okay, now tell bucks. them what you got here. Okay, I got this a while back from a pawn shop. It's an old Thorson set. And it actually has the actual ratchet, which still works. And a breaker bar and extension, which this is all Thorson, which I was surprised that it still had it. Can you, Hunter, you, can you tell he's into these vintage tools? And like, it actually works. And I mean, it's a unique design because to move the, change it over, you just press right there. Oh yeah, they make them like that still. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. And that's what I wanted to show you. And I'll put a little uh, foam stuff on the inside, a little liner to make it look a little better. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that was a pretty good little find. Hunter's into these vintage tools and restoring them and stuff, yeah. guys. So. Make sure you give a follow over on Price uh, Customs, Customs Tool, Tool Restoration. Restoration. So let's move on to the next thing. All right. All right, guys. Hunter was so excited about that new tool, he totally forgot. Look, we have hoodies. Oh, yeah. Turn around. That looks good. Uh, now we won't freeze. <laughs> yep. Because I've just been trying to show our stuff, so I just wear a T-shirt. But now, we, we have, this is the only heater we have up here right now. Yeah, we got to get a different we one. We got to get our heater back. <laughs> yeah. It was on a job. But we got this set up for Hunter over here. This is where he's gonna do his magic. Oh yeah. Guys, so right now we're gonna get start putting this Harbor Freight Sandblaster together. So let's, let's do it. it. Oh. <laughs> Alright Hunter, tell them what's going on here. Well, they short they, a screws. They short a screws, so when you don't have enough screws, you use zip ties. So we're zip tying the, that light in the back. It goes in there. But we'll probably end up upgrading that light one day. Because uh, for some reason, they don't send us enough, didn't send us enough screws or we had we had to make it work, hadn't we? Oh yeah, because I mean, look at this. Yeah, look, it's it's called hang your stuff on. But, we gotta get thinner zip ties. All right, well, you know what I think? Three and tape. I think three screws will hold it. If three, if, hey. If three don't hold it, four never would. That's right. Let's get to work. Hey guys, it is a mess in this corner right yeah. now. Yeah. But we <coughs> we got this to fit. Yeah, it looks good. Guys, we have it finally done. We made a world's record because I've watched hundreds of videos on this thing. Uh, people, I want to see what people's review and stuff. And they said the worst thing about it is it took them two days to install it, to put it together. Yeah. It took us three hours. I guess we only work on for an hour and a half a day. Yeah. I mean, I guess so. But hey, three hours. We're good. Check this thing out. Yeah. Was, you ready? Yeah. Turn on lot. Mmm. We have a sandblaster, boys. Oh, that light, that look, lighting looks cool in there. Let me put my hand in here. What we'll, what we need to try to do is uh, next video we might, we might try it. Test it out. Yeah, test it out on something. But I mean, I got you, tons of stuff to test it out on. What do you think, guys? I mean, we got the Harbor Freight thing put together. Why not do it now? We've been, we've had the flu. We've been, but I'm telling you. I understand when everybody says that thing's a beast to put together. Yeah, it's a Because pain. for one, 
12 of those bolts are ours. Yeah, they didn't Because they shorted us 12 bolts. We gave us tons of the little ones, but shorted us on the work. legs, the front. Everything else. <laughs> Everything else. And so we made it work. You know, that's what you got to do in this kind of business. You got to make things work. Make it work. Even though it's not a business, but you know. And it's spill. Okay, guys, so come here. So uh, we got a mess here now. We got to clean up and... And let us know what you think about the Milwaukee. Yep. Will that be a good one for working on cars? We know it will be because Milwaukee don't make nothing bad. No. But um, we'll get this cleaned up. But, guys, I'm, I'm going to say this one more time. The best tool made to I've ever used in my life. These pliers. Turn them the other way. There's the number on them. You Check gotta them get out. Those. If you, it's worth how much were these things? Sixty four dollars. Sixty four. It is totally worth it. They're the best pliers we have. You use it. I we used it on everything putting that together. Yeah, and, we and really did. I mean, all kinds of. This thing is like number one. I've never used pliers. I would ever say. I'd recommend to everyone right there. Those yeah, are the they're best. they're really good. Ch check them out, guys. But guys, here's what all that thing come with. It come with some extra ends. Yeah. And it here. Look at all these left. All these are left and shortest the on the major needed, ones, yeah, <laughs> on those structural ones. But thank goodness we keep bolts and stuff here. So, guys, if you need clean glass, use wax and grease remover. Yep. <laughs> but if not, guys, from our family to yours, happy Thanksgiving, guys. We appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Peace.